Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to tune in to this latest video weather briefing. We're going to talk about one major thing and that's an extended heat wave in September that we're expecting to occur across all of Southern California. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Let's take a quick look at the most recent heat wave. We saw some extreme temperatures, including those listed on here. Take a look and see if your location made it. Bottom line was we saw numerous record highs all the way to near the coast. We've had a limited monsoon across Southern California as shown here. Even though during the period of August 15th through 22nd, we saw isolated thunderstorms with heavy rain. We have a large deficit uh, that does not appear we're gonna make up across the mountains and deserts. Temperatures have been really warm already. July and August are shown here. Numerous heat waves. In fact, we're now on the 11th heat wave for the deserts. We're seeing unprecedented conditions across the desert. The month of August was the warmest on record for Borrego Springs and also for Palm Springs. Water temperatures have been all over the place. As shown here, with the heat waves we saw early in the spring and the lack of upwelling, temperatures have spiked to record levels in early May, back with the red tide, record levels in August. But we've also seen fluctuations of almost 20 degrees Fahrenheit just in the month of August. Excessive heat is expected across all the regions showed here in the deep red. These areas will be susceptible for all populations, especially those who do not prepare or are unable to prepare and have to be outdoors for extended periods of time. Here's the latest threat outlook table and we are focused on Labor Day weekend. The peak of the heat appears to be centered on Labor Day weekend, but it will continue into next week as well. The heat should be extreme in some cases and record breaking with readings 10 to 20 degrees above average. We also expect the fire weather potential to be at least elevated, so moderate. The heat risk, so this takes into effect heat health. The heat risk is in the red and purple shading. And this is basically saying the same thing. Temperature is much above average, even for September and dangerously hot during the day with even warm nights. Why so hot? Uh, upper level high pressure is common across the Four Corners or the desert southwest during the summer, June through September. However, this system is coming down from the northwest. So it's coming down initially quite dry across Nevada and then it parks over Labor Day weekend, Saturday through Monday, right over Southern Nevada, Southern California and Western Arizona. A prime ingredients for very hot record-breaking temperatures over a prolonged period. Not a favored weather pattern for the monsoon. We'll have to wait for that high to shift later next week to get any moisture, if any. Does it shift? Well, it looks like it retreats back towards the north, north, up into the Pacific Northwest early next week, right after Labor Day. Overall, still blocking and protecting the entire West Coast with heat. Then later next week, it's still in place. It shifts down from the Pacific Northwest and over Southern California again. So this is basically a dome of high pressure and it actually shields us from even tropical moisture or all types of moisture with very limited amount of moisture that can sneak in underneath it. Hot conditions continue next week. When we look and see if this is unusual, most of the forecast weather guidance that we use shows that across California and Nevada, extreme potential is on the top of the chart shown in red there for Labor Day weekend. When we look to see the trend or the peak, what is gonna be the warmest days, it looks like Sunday, Monday right now is targeted as the warmest days as shown here. But we're not expecting a lot of break next week, though a little bit of monsoon moisture could trickle in to the Coachella Valley and maybe into our mountains to provide some relief. Otherwise, temperatures will be very warm, if not record-breaking warm across all of Southern California. Here are some of the numbers we're looking at. If you're fortunate enough to go to the beach, 75 to 85 over the holiday weekend, coastal cities, 
minimum 85, most places on coastal cities getting well into the 90s, if not touching 100. Inland Valley, so inland Orange County, inland San Diego County on the I-15 corridor, between 95 and 108 every day, most locations are gonna be over 100. Inland Empire, 105 to 115 for multiple days. We may see a couple spots break that 115, which would be records. High deserts, same thing. Lower deserts, one teens, perhaps even up to around 120, especially during the dry period, which looks to be Saturday and Sunday for the lower deserts. The foothills and the mountains, not much relief. You can see temperatures well in the 90s and over 100, even at three to 4,000 foot elevation. You're gonna have to go all the way up to 7,000 plus to get down into the 80s for high temperatures. Here's a look at some of the readings. The bottom line is across our region, the purple shade over 110, if not over 115. You can see this extends all the way up the coast and into the Mojave Desert as well. And very little relief on the immediate coast, still getting around 90. The heat risk on Sunday looks to be one of its highest levels with widespread purple across all of Southern California. Take a look at some of these potential records that could be broken over the weekend, 10 to 20 degrees above average. So it looks like record highs are in jeopardy in numerous locations as shown here. Some heat tips, limit outdoor activity, drink plenty of fluid, if you must be outdoors, you've got to dress appropriately, lightweight, light color, sunscreen, take frequent breaks. Don't forget to check on the elderly, the children, and even the pets. This is dangerous heat for all populations if you don't take some precautions or make some changes in your daily routines. Here's a summary, weather.gov San Diego will have the updates. Long prolonged heat wave is expected and it's gonna peak on the holiday weekend. Unfortunately, it looks like it'll continue through next week. We'll start seeing accumulative impacts over the weekend with warmer nights, more heat stress, more heat risk. Records will be broken. We're gonna see an increase in some moisture along the immediate coast because of the warming sea surface temperatures. So it'll get a little muggy on the coast. That'll make the nights warmer. Monsoonal moisture, looks like we'll have to wait till next week. Some will start to sneak in through the Coachella Valley. First shallow, maybe then a little bit deeper, but right now we're not expecting, um, if any thunderstorms occur, they'd be very isolated. On the coast, there may be a little bit of patchy fog, but even coastal cities in the 90s, if not touching 100. We're gonna see a little bit of weak offshore flow, a very light wind pattern, so that is good news, but bad news because the sea breeze is weak and because of these hot temperatures and low humidity, low humidity, elevated fire danger. So this weekend is going to have very low humidity in the teens, a lot of places away from the immediate coast. A look at the latest forecast on our webpage here. This is a new tool you can use at weather.gov and you can click on your specific location. I chose a location here in San Bernardino County and this shows uh, the temperatures, the humidity, the dew point, the wind speed, all the different parameters. And you can see humidity very low in the shaded orange and red and temperatures very high. Please stay safe, everyone. This is a serious heat wave coming up over Labor Day weekend. Now's the time to prepare and take precautions as we go into this heat wave over the holiday weekend and next week. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Alex Tardy with the National Weather Service.